the station uh, hosts a collaborative uh, experiment that has been operating on station for more than five years. And while the French Space Agency is the lead for this experiment, it involves uh, American investigators and scientists from many other countries. Uh, D-Click continues to send back data allowing us to learn how various materials change from solid to liquid to gas and then back again on the molecular level. The microgravity environment in space allows investigators to study fluid processes that are difficult and sometimes impossible to observe here on Earth. Tracy McMahon, a public affairs officer with the station's Payload Operations Integration Center, there at the uh, Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, uh, spoke recently with D-Click's mission manager from the French uh, Space Agency. The name of the experiment uh, is D-Click. It stands for Device for the Study of Critical Liquids and Crystallization. Um, D-Click is a facility dedicated to the study of transparent media. It's a kind of furnace in which one can put the, the media he wants to study. For example, we have uh, uh, studies on uh, supercritical fluids or solidification of transparent media. It is on board the space station since 2009 and uh, working since then. A typical simple material that is being studied on, on, uh, on board ECLIC is the water. Uh, and we are studying water as a, a critical fluid because when you heat water at a very high temperature, uh, which is close to 400 degrees C, it, it becomes supercritical, which is a kind of mix between the fluid and, and gas state. Uh, it's a kind of gas that weights like a fluid. And uh, when you perform that kind of study on the ground, it is very difficult because as it is a gas that weights like a fluid, um, it is highly compressive and you cannot have a, a whole cell uh, which is in a supercritical state, for example. And under microgravity, as there is no weight, you can have a wall cell of supercritical fluid and you can study it very precisely. And for example, um, the, the measurement of the critical temperature of water that we perform on board ECLIC is the most precise ever measurement of this temperature. When you are above the critical temperature, uh, the water is able to break uh, the hydrocarbonic chains of materials and uh, so you see that you can uh, recycle, recycle material by injecting material into supercritical water. The main application for this is to, to help recycling organic media which is uh, basically waste during a um, long duration manned mission. So this is one of the application of the click, but there are several others like um, solidification studies, for example. The objectives of performing that kind of experiment in uh, microgravity is to get rid of gravity, of course, because when you have gravity, you have uh, induced phenomenons like convection, for example, that can hide some of the phenomenon that occur in solidification, for example. The ISS is the is the right place for, for our experiments for three main reasons. Uh, the first is that it gives us access to long duration microgravity, which is really needed for our applications. The second reason is that we are able to uh, launch and return hardware uh, from and to uh, the International Space Station and to refurbish this hardware. And uh, so we have uh, access to multiple uh, experiments with uh, only one payload. And, um, and the third reason is that uh, on board the ISS, we can store several, uh, several experiments, several inserts that are exchanged inside uh, the click. For the time being, we have uh, three inserts uh, that have been developed to, with the click. For each insert, we have a, a team of scientists. And uh, in each team, we have both American and French scientists. So, uh, for example, for the uh, high temperature insert dedicated to the supercritical um, water studies, we have uh, scientists from uh, Glenn Research Center in, uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, when the, the French scientists are located in Bordeaux, in France. We have developed some uh, tools that um, give the scientists the opportunity to follow in real time the experiments from their labs. They only need uh, uh, an internet browser and uh, they connect to, the, to a web server and they see in real time 
the evolution of the experiments, the parameters and the, the, the images and so on. More information on DClick can be found on the French Space Agency website at uh, kness.fr and uh, search for DClick, D-E-C-L-I-C. If you're not uh, fluent in French, you can click on the British flag in the upper right-hand corner to get the English version uh, from that website.